what is tempo running? That's just simply running for distances typically. Um, so you, you'll be doing your intervals like 200 meter efforts, 150 meter efforts, 300s, 400s, 100s, 80s, 60s, uh, and potentially 40 meter efforts. So you're, you're prescribing the distance, you're giving the athlete the, time, the times to hit it. If you're going for more an aerobic benefit, typically it'll be um, moving at under five meters per second for male athletes. And you're, so you're not getting high speed running, you're not getting sprint distance and your work to rest ratio is either one to one or there's some active recovery with it. So you might do an effort of hundred meters at let's say 20 seconds and then you have a 20 second jog um, and then 10 seconds rest before your next rep. Pros of tempo running. So for one, when you're managing a large group, 40 to 60 athletes at times, uh, it, the simplicity is helpful. So you, 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 when you're setting up your session, uh, it's really simple to obviously set up around the oval or through the middle uh, if you're doing more speed efforts, um, your distance targets, and uh, it's a one in, all in. So you, what, whatever you're getting your athletes to do, or you might manipulate it if you break them up into groups, depending on their fitness levels, which would be leaning a little bit on the MAS method, which I'll talk about in a second. But if you're getting them all to run 150s, you might just break them up into three running groups, your fast guys, your, your, your um, middle group, and then your least quickest at the end. And they've just got different times that you're trying to um, get them to aim for uh, or you're manipulating the rest periods. So that could be one pro of tempo-based prescription is it's very simple. Cons, it's not objective and uh, you're not you're probably not getting it as consistent of a meth of a training stimulus as you are with MAS prescription. So what I mean by that is typically when we're doing tempo running, let's say you do repeat 150s and you're getting the group to run those in 25 second reps. For some, that's nearly an all-out uh, sprint. And that for others, that's a, a relatively, uh, still a hard effort, but it might be pretty cruisy for them, especially if they're going in on the minute, they're well, well, well recovered. So you're not individualizing it to that athlete's physical profile. So typically tempo running will challenge the middle uh, athletes. Uh, it will be too hard for the um, less fit or, or not as fast athletes, depending on the program you're doing for the day. Uh, and it won't be challenging enough for your, for your best athletes for them will be in that within their um, comfort zone moving over to mas and asr so to, so maximum aerobic speed is simply um, something that you can use by doing a minimum of a six minute test that seems to be the standard for what the research tells us to that compares with working out your uh, as a you know maximal test so you run six minutes and run as far as you can or for most footballers um, that would be a 2K time trial for male athletes because they'll get between that six and seven minutes or, or six to eight minutes, depending on what level you're at. Um, so that can cover for uh, junior athletes, female athletes, or um, some or a group of athletes that you think that 2K is too long, i.e. The, the test will go potentially up to 10 minutes or, or above eight, then just go with a six-minute run as far as you can. And then from there, you can work out the distance they got and just divide that by the time. So if they ran 1,400 metres, divide that by 360 to work out the average speed that the athlete was moving at. And that's their MAS time. The anaerobic speed reserve, we find out your MAS from, from your time trial, the fitness test. And then either if you're wearing GPS or you do a flying 40 uh, metre, we work out your max velocity. So how fast you can move. So let's say your, your MAS is five meters per second. Your max velocity, the fastest that GPS has tracked is nine meters per second. Your anaerobic speed reserve is the number between those two. So for that athlete, it would be four meters per second. And that just gives us an idea of um, how to prescribe for your repeat speed efforts. So for some, when we're doing those high intensity efforts, MAS is not enough because Obviously, that's an aerobic dominant test for doing your MAS testing. So for those that are um, more geared and um, their athlete profile is more geared to longer distance running, um, MAS works really well for those interval-based days. Whereas when we're working on your repeat speed, we want to be uh, using your max velocity and your MAS to determine what we should prescribe for your um, shorter distance high speed efforts.